Our top story, the city of Copper's Cove wants to change Highway 190 on its east side, but they faced an outcry from the public for months now, and now they're changing the project. Channel 6's Andrew Moore is here to tell us more about the city and what they're trying to do to meet the public halfway. Tell us, Andrew. Chris, the Cove Council has been working on these Highway 190 plans for more than four years. Some people like it, others have voiced concerns consistently. Last night, a narrow 4-3 vote authorized a redesign to address these complaints. The vocal citizens out there has encouraged us to pursue additional options. David Morris wants the city's redesign of 190 to move forward, but he knows not everyone was thrilled with the original plan. We're listening to what they have to say. Under the old plan, this section of 190 would go from three lanes to two lanes, get a median, and would provide a large sidewalk on one side so people could walk through the city safely. Morris said that's currently an issue. So we do have a lot of walkers, and I think we need to make uh, that environment as safe as possible for them. The new plan keeps the three lanes, shrinks the sidewalks, and puts the bike lane in the street. Lots of people also complained about the median, but acting city manager Ryan Haverlaw says that stretch of 190 sees too many accidents. And you compare it to standards that TxDOT has, we far exceed those standards for this type of roadway when it comes to accidents. But some locals still see things differently. The owner of Cove Plumbing, WB Maples, says the median still creates a problem for trucks as they get to his business. And they're going to have to figure out how to get here and how to get in to, so we can unload them. Are we going to have a choice? Yeah, the only choice we have is to sell. And Monica Hurecki worries it will cost too much money when there are other approaches to make the city look more beautiful. Are we offering businesses incentives to paint their buildings, um, put out landscaping. If so now, Morris just hopes residents will meet them in the middle. We've re-engineered uh, the, the design of it to, to help meet the, the needs and the wants of our residents. And of course, the city has a lot riding on this. They've spent a quarter million dollars on the design and around 70,000 on the redesign. Chris?